it's Nancy Queen from Noble Knits and today I'm here to show you something a little different. Um, I'm going to give you a book review with three technique books and what I really like about these is that we're going to be covering a book on lace knitting, entrelock knitting, and cable knitting. So these are all um, from Trafaglar Square. I received copies of all three of these books as a gift so that I could share them with you and tell you all about them. I think that's really great to have an opportunity to see books like this because if you haven't tried any of these techniques, they can seem scary. But once you get into them and learn a little bit more about the techniques, you'll find that they're not scary. They're a lot of fun and you're gonna be able to make amazing projects with them. So let's start with the first one, this lace knitting book by Denise Sampson. And it's 40 open work patterns, 30 lovely projects, countless ideas and inspiration. And <clears throat> there is a lot packed in this book. Here's, here's a picture of the author in a beautiful lace sh uh, scarf. And the um, beginning of the book just goes over how to read charts, symbols and keys that you would need to know, um, the tools that you'll need, as well as a really important page, blocking and correcting mistakes, which is one of the hardest things when you're knitting on your own and you make a mistake in a new technique, it's really worrisome how to fix it so she covers that and then um, it's almost like a stitch directory in the beginning there are um, all different patterns along with the charts of how to make these beautiful um, techniques look at that this is like a zigzag here's uh, one called spruce and she does them all in this, uh, here's a heart, in this nice light uh, aqua um, yarn, which just makes the book look beautiful. Let's see, and there are so many that I really love. I just want to see, it goes up to 40, well, I said that in the beginning, 40 um, different lace patterns that you can use. And then it gets into the next section, which is garments, accessories, and household items. And there are hats. Here's a beautiful washcloth and hand towel. A bluebell hat, which is really beautiful and sweet. A little girl's lace dress. Here's a sweater with leafy vines going here and on the sleeves. Here's a yoked dress, which is very pretty. Has lace detail on the whole thing. Oh, a little girl's lace bottom sweater. And oh, I, you know, I love lace shawls and here's a beautiful one. Uh, but the patterns go on and on. There's socks, baby blankets. Oh, there's quite a few baby blankets in here. Let me show you those. This is very pretty. That one's called uh, Pink Baby Blanket with Angel Wings, and this is Lily Leaf pattern lace on this baby blanket. And there's a skirt with lace edging detail. Here's a pillow cover, a bookmark. The lace top, this would be great for spring and summer with scallop motif. Here's a uh, sacred tree double bed coverlet. Ooh, 
more socks. These socks have a shell pattern. Here's a lace bonanza tunic. It's very pretty. Um, Bolero with Gatsby Waves. Love the name of that. Oh, even a christening gown in this book. And here's a more rugged lace pattern. You don't have to use just lace weight or fingering weight yarn. You can use um, something chunkier, like a bulky weight. Uh, here's a long lace scarf. And the next page is a poncho. With a lace, the poncho has a lace edge. Um, here's some long lace gloves. A baby onesie, that's sweet. And I think the last project in here is a hat, yeah, a hat, scarf, and coordinating mittens. So that is the uh, Denise Sampson lace knitting book, and I will provide links in the description below. And if you go to my website, which will also be linked in the description below, you'll find links to both um, the, pad the book on Amazon and from the publisher. So check that out. And then the next book we're going to talk about is Entrelac. I, you know, I love knitting Entrelac. There's something really satisfying about it. It's all knit in one piece. Uh, you create these gorgeous color blocks and you can use solid color yarn. You could use self-striping yarn or you can change colors like every row to get a very unique look. But <clears throat> this uh, Entrelac has kind of been on the back burner in the knitting world for a while, so I'm really excited to see it's making a comeback. It's a really fun and interesting technique once you get the hang of it. Um, but this one is 40 stunning projects with textured diamonds diamond pattern designs, and that is what the Entrelac is. And um, it's by Mede Hoveden and Heidi Eichland. Um, again, from Trafagler Square. And this book um, starts out covering a little bit about the designers. And then it goes into pretty much everything you're going to need to know, like a step-by-step -step tutorial of the techniques and how you're going to be knitting with one color or two colors. Um, and then they even give you kind of a basic general knitting overview. And then it gets into the projects and it starts with Entrelac projects for beginners, which you can start out with a little headband and you can move into a hat. Oh, and also a scarf. And then it moves into more accessories. Here is, um, these are wrist warmers with a rolled edge. I think they're very pretty. Um, mittens. Yeah, there's another mittens option right here. I'm gonna turn my chair so I can look with you. Um, this is called Udun More Children's Mittens. More mittens. Here's um, women's gloves, whoops women's gloves and a tam. Oh, here's a close-up of the tam. <clears throat> and this is kind of the traditional hat you see when you look at um, Entrelac knitting. 
you knit it in the round and I, I don't know it's just very rewarding and satisfying to make these little squares and they work up surprisingly fast because you're so busy working on the squares that you don't realize that you've accumulated layers and layers of squares and gotten this really gorgeous project uh, here's some adult sized socks more socks socks <laughs> very pretty oh those are the baby version of those socks and then you can do like I said a lot of people do um, self-striping yarn but here it is in two colors and you're just alternating and then it gets into children's knits, which are really sweet. Here's, uh, this one's called Odin and Oda. So here's the girl's version. And here's the boy's version, which is really cute. Oh, and then there's a girl's dress. Look at how sweet that is. Oh, this is a little girl's skirt. How sweet is that? That would be a quick and easy knit. And then here are matching sweaters. Here's another very sweet dress. And then it gets into women's knits. And this one starts with a shawl, which is absolutely stunning. Oh, here's a better, much better picture of the shawl. and a poncho. Another beautiful poncho. Here's a sweater. So this one, uh, the body is done in entrelock, but the sleeves are done in stockinette. Here's a yoke neck pullover, which I think is gorgeous. And then there's also a skirt version, which is super cute. Or is it a whole, yeah, it's a skirt, not a whole dress. And then there's also a cardigan version of it. Let me see if there's a larger picture here. The picture's not huge, but you can see how beautiful that is. And then here's a longer length cardigan that is beautiful. Looks like a great weekend, pro uh, not weekend project, but weekend, um, weekend wear. Here's a wrap cardigan in a really pretty green. I like the little tie detail. And again, that is, uh, the body is entrelock and the sleeves are stockinette with, oh, there's actually, here's another picture. You can see sleeve detail and see the entrelock trim on the sleeves. More skirts for women. And then there's a few knits for men too, which are hard to come by, but they're very, these are very nice. Uh, 
uh, some men's mittens. Here's your traditional shawl collar sweater. It's got the entrelock panel and um, stockinette sleeves. Stunning. Here it is in another color. And hat. And then the last portion is furnishings. We've got a um, entrelock pillow. Love the black and white. Oh, actually, yeah, they show it in a solid color too. Um, there's a throw. And that is it. This is a gorgeous book. There's a lot of project ideas I can't wait to try. Um, so I will, again, link the information to both the publisher and the um, to Amazon on my website. And then the final one, which I'm, I've been really enjoying looking at, is this Cable Knits from Nordic Lands. And it's beauty and ingenuity in over 20 unique patterns. And this one has been written by a gentleman named Ivar Asplund. And he is a um, knitting instructor, workshop leader, and he works in a yarn store. Um, in fact, I believe this is the author. Okay, but um, when I started looking at this book, what I really found beautiful was that um, the front of the book is this gorgeous portfolio of most of the projects. And we can just flip through this and take a look at how beautiful they are. Pull over with some cable details. Another pullover, but the photo, the photography is just so bright and gorgeous, and I love how it's mixed with nature. Here's a cardigan, and the the um, options of how he takes cabling to so many different um, patterns. This is a reversible scarf, I believe. Here's another cardigan. Here's a cardigan and a vest. The pullover with lots of cables. Here's some children's card uh, pullovers. And then um, he starts going through the book uh, with just general knowledge that you'll need for getting started. Um, things to remember before you knit, such as sizing, gauge, yarn amounts, um, knitting in the round versus back and forth knitting, how to cast on, reading charts, and washing and blocking garments. And he also covers um, Finishing, picking up stitches for the sleeves, how to do um, side seams and mattress stitch, and then uh, goes into the tools that you'll need. And then the rest of the book till, uh, let's see, I believe there's a pattern section, yeah. So there's a large portion of the book that are the patterns themselves. Like here's some wrist warmers. Here, this one's called a twist and turn scarf. Here's a test tube cowl. Uh, this one's called the Squiggles Hat. 
very cute. It's just a very simple cable. Here's, I, I, I wanna show you this because you can really see the detail. It's a very simple project, but intriguing and really a great, this would be a great beginner project. <clears throat> Another set of wrist warmers. Another great uh, beginner cable project. This one's called the Chain and Horseshoe Hat. Okay, and then there is a reversible faux turtleneck. I want you to see, this is the, this is the way it looks. So it covers, you know, kind of like a yoke and then has the turtleneck that you just slip on. It'd be great to wear under a jacket. Here is a triple triangle shawl. And that, what I like about this is that at the mitered corners, that's where the cable occurs. Very interesting. Usually it occurs in the body of the work. I really like seeing it in the in the edges. This is another little, what do they call it? A children's poncho. And here is a another pullover with cables. So this one we saw in the beginning, and the last one we saw in the beginning, uh, in that, um, all, I think all the rest of these we saw in the beginning. It's just those beginner projects that weren't shown. Yeah, these are all shown. So the last section I want to show you, um, he goes into detail about knitting techniques. and finishing, shaping, and then there are sample stitch patterns, which are great for when you want to design your own project. There are quite a few of them too. Oh, there's pages and pages of them. It looks like there are 18 in all. And then he talks a little bit about choosing the materials. So this is another great book. And again, links will be below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to like it. Subscribe to my channel. And if you want notifications, hit the little bell button as a reminder. You'll get notified every time I publish a new video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.